I was on an airplane about two weeks ago, and I saw an altercation between an airline attendant and a passenger. There was some angry words exchanged, and I thought this guy was going to get booted off the airplane because it was a little bit of a kerfluffle over the mask. And uh, I wanted to fly on the airplane, so I was an obedient passenger, and I wore my mask. Hi, Alex McFarland here. Welcome to The Truth for a New Generation webcast. And I want to talk a little bit about wearing the masks in public because, uh, look, COVID has enveloped all of our lives, and a lot of people are saying, look, I don't want to wear the masks, and I don't have to, and the science is all over the map on the effectiveness or non-effectiveness of this. And, and I get it. I, hey, believe me, I'm a guy that I love our American liberties, and uh, I've always been, you know, what uh, Malcolm McDowell and others might call a little bit of an outlier. But let me, from a Christian perspective, tell you where I believe God has put my heart on this right now uh, regarding the wearing of masks. Because I understand we don't want to compromise our civil liberties and we don't want to just be compliant little lemmings going along unquestioningly about uh, what the government says do. But from a Christian perspective, okay, Mark 12, 31, Jesus said, love your neighbor as yourself. And then Paul, later on in the New Testament, wrote about that he didn't ever want to cause a weaker brother to stumble. And I honestly believe out in public, uh, whether or not it's uh, healthy from a medicinal standpoint, although it may be, and again, the science is all over the map, Look, to be a witness and to uh, be someone that doesn't cause somebody to stumble and to care and really love our neighbor as ourselves, I'm just speaking for myself. This is where I'm at. Uh, I've got the mask on when I go out to the store. Uh, in a restaurant, obviously, you've got to take it off to eat when I do a speaking engagement. But let me just say at this time of COVID, for uh, just being a neighbor and being a citizen, but especially being a Christian, I don't think it, this is the time to be a gunslinger and say, hey, nobody tells me what to do. Um, let's, as the Bible says, defer and care about the other brother even above ourselves. That's just my thought on that, and I think that's what the Lord would have his people do at this time. Uh, let me briefly encourage you to pray for our nation. Please, as the election approaches, I've got a brand new book called The Assault on America, What We Must Do to Save Our Country. I would urge you to read that book. I've got things in that book that I guarantee you haven't heard and you probably won't hear much of anywhere else about what are the implications of the next election and why I believe every one of us must pray, must be informed, and must vote. So this book, uh, it ships in three days. You will have it if you go online to order it at Amazon or wherever you buy your books. You'll have it in 72 hours. The Assault on America, What We Must Do to Save Our Country. And right now, let me thank you all for watching. Let me urge you to share these on social media. If you share on social media, the Rev. Alex McFarland Facebook streams, the Truth for a New Generation website on YouTube. You're automatically entered to win our book giveaway. Right now we're giving some fortunate viewer the book Abandoned Faith, Why Millennials Are Leaving the Church and How to Win Them Back. I wrote this a couple of years ago for Focus on the Family. We interviewed more than 300 late teens, early 20-somethings, Why Millennials Are Leaving the Faith really faith, family, and freedom, and how to, how to bring them back. If you will share publicly, you're entered to win, and we look forward to giving you this book as you pray, promote, and help make known what we're doing with worldview and apologetics through the Truth For New Generation webcast. I want to thank you for watching the, the broadcast, and again, know that I appreciate you so much. We hear from a lot of you. And we, we read every one of those emails, every one of those posts, and it really does mean the world to us. God bless you. God bless America. And keep standing strong for truth, and we're here to help equip you to do that.